So tell me I, things. Yes. Te well, tell me things. I saw things, you at you WonderCon. So, what has changed since then in getting ready for the show to air? Not much on my part. I did all my work back in uh, Albuquerque. All so. right. Any any buzz that you're hearing? Any oh, man, people the, talking? The response has been incredible. Yeah. I, I mean, you've got Charlene Harris writing this stuff, so it comes in with a certain amount of fan that already is yeah. loyal to it, but. I've loved this project since I saw the first script, and, yeah. and now that I've gotten to see some of the episodes, I do not think people will be disappointed. It's one of my favorite things I've ever got to work on. Nice. Yeah. What do you think people are going to be most surprised by? Um, that this isn't really a monster show. I mean, I, one of the things I've always loved about genre is that it's some of the greatest expressions of being human. And this is really a show about humanity and, and sticking up for each other. Yeah. Now, so. people didn't see our WonderCon conversation. Tell me briefly about your character. Uh, my character is an angel. He's been around for a few millennia, so he's had you know, he's had time to work his issues out. Yeah. But it seems like he's still working on them. <laughs> so. How was the experience being a supernatural being? Amazing. It was really good. I mean, again, so well supported by the imagination, but also we had some great CGI artists and special effects, practical effects artists. It's a really fun environment to work in. I mean, the inner 10-year-old in me gets to swing swords and fight demons yeah. and, yeah, you know, I try to remember I'm a professional, but then I'm like, this is fun. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay, and then real quick, why should people tune in to watch Midnight Texas? Because it's damn good. Tune in and watch us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Pleasure.